Tanya from Redefine Creative and I am back with another Wacky Wednesday for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And this is the sketch that we are using this week which was designed by Sarah Scraps, um, also on the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. And we are partnering, partnering up this month with Let's Get Sketchy, um, another design team that works with sketches. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you just kind of what I did. I stuck really close to um, the sketch on this one. So I pulled out this paper from Pink Paisley, and it's number nine from the Moonstruck collection. And I pulled out just three squares that I really liked out of that piece of paper to go with the photo. And then I also am showing you here, I took my 6x6 six six paper pad and just cut a bunch of squares and rectangles in different sizes. And then I also pulled um, a couple of rub-ons, a piece of ephemera, and some of the vellum stickers from the same collection. So I've kind of done all that ahead of time where I've pulled out all those pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of just arrange them onto my layout. So in this sketch, um, basically it has a diagonal design from the top left to the bottom right. And it's all kinds of different squares and rectangles that, that make up the background. So it's kind of making our own background paper. I did decide to put this on a mat in the background so that it didn't get lost, and that is the uh, Moonstruck from Pink Paisley, and it's paper number three. And um, I really like that turquoise border. It kind of adds around the outside. And so here you see I'm just kind of playing with the placement of where all of these little pieces are going to go. And this photo in the middle is a picture from my daughter on a recent trip that we took to California. And so she just happened to have the right lighting and be in the perfect spot to get this to get this really great uh, silhouette shot. So I wanted to do something, of course, a little more special with this layout. So in this um, Moonstruck collection is absolutely perfect. I am in love with this collection. Um, so there you see I kind of have my blocks in the background laid out. I don't have anything glued down yet. And then I go ahead and take those 4-inch Normandy doilies and I'm putting them on both sides of my photo. And then I pulled that piece of ephemera that says Dreamy from the Moonstruck collection to kind of use as my title. So I have moved the title from the top down to the bottom. Um, and so off screen, I went ahead and inked the edges of all of my pieces that were going to go in my background. And I've glued those all down now. And I am just using a gray um, ink pad from Studio Calico. And I am absolutely loving the gray right now. So it's a little better contrast. It's a little bit softer than a black ink pad. Um, and I really like the look that it creates. So how it really makes everything pop off the page, but it's more of a subtle look. So now I'm just running through the ephemera pack, trying to decide if there's anything else that I want to use on this layout. And I am going to keep that little marbled pink heart. And it's going to end up living up on that doily on the top. And I try a couple other things. I try one of these florals in place of that heart to see if I like it better. Um, but I end up going with the heart. And then, as you can see, I've tucked in these little star, gold star um, details onto both of those doilies. And they aren't glued down at that point. Those are some rub-ons from this Moonstruck collection. And they went on really, really well. And that is a really fun detail, just adding those directly to a doily. So the rub-ons will stick really, really well to the material in the doily. So that was a really, a really neat kind of way to bring that in. And I am going to bring in those gold stars throughout the layout here um, towards the end. So now I have grabbed some of these heart felties from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. And I've added a couple of the little ones. And I tried those turquoise ones, but it was just almost too much turquoise. So I've gone back to this darker color, and I do like that a lot better. And then I'm showing you I've also pulled out a bunch of sequins to kind of try and integrate. And so I went ahead off camera and did that, and I ended up using the Pinkie Pie Pinks and the Wedding Bells mixes. And then I also took, and you'll see this a lot closer in the when I show you the close-up photos at the end, um, I took some gold thread and just did some little nests behind that dreamy uh, title. And it adds a really neat detail to that part of this layout. And like I said, you'll see that in the close-ups. And then I go back to the rub-ons, and I'm just adding in a few of those gold stars to kind of make the, the continuity between that entire diagonal layout a little bit better. And so I'm going to have two in that bottom cluster of boxes, and then I'm also going to add two up in the top cluster of those boxes. 
and I'm just kind of finding a spot where they look good with the pattern papers as well as mixed in with all of those sequins that I've already added. And I do typically use my sequins where I have more than one pack that I am pulling from. So for example, for this one, the Pinky by Pinks were great. I pulled out the, the clear ones, the light pink ones, and the little flowers. But then I wanted that touch of white, which is where I pulled those only out of Wedding Bells. So you don't have to use that entire sequin mix together. I will often pull out pieces of each one and kind of create my own mix that works with the colors that I'm working on in my layout. And that's going to do it for this one. So I really would, can't wait to see what you create with this sketch as well. I hope you enjoyed this layout. I am really loving working with the Pink Paisley Moonstruck collection. And I will see you again soon. Bye.